Hi there and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to generate sequential numbers in Stata. In order to do so, I'm going to just enter a bunch of code at the same time here and I'm going to talk you through the results as I go. Deal? Okay. So I started by setting the number of observations to 100 and what that does is it just creates an empty data set into which we can create values. And the first thing I did was I created a variable x which is underscore n, n being the total number of observations. So if we go and look at this data set, we'll see that that command created x as going from 1 to 100. Now that's a pretty useful thing to do when you have a number of participants to graft onto an existing data set or a number of observations uh, and you do not want to go in there and do that by hand when you're working with a large data set uh, nor necessarily do you want to go into Excel and, and do it there and then just copy it over to Stata when Stata already has such a rich capability of doing that. Very simple. There's other stuff you can do here. Notice that you can add arithmetic uh, operators here. So what I did with Y was I just added 2 to underscore N and so the variable of y that we created just starts at 3 and then it goes sequentially from there. What I did with another variable z is I just started at 3 behind n which is negative 2 and then it runs sequentially from there as you can see. So you can make these sequential runs as customized as you want using arithmetic operators and just just one more thing that I did here was I, sh I wanted to show you that this is not just addition and subtraction here. I created a variable t that is uh, 3 times underscore n. So what we have here for t is this kind of progression. So um, these, are, these are all useful commands in terms of having a data set and you know needing to create some sequence. Sometimes it's because there are participants, like I said, that you want to graft onto a data set, but other times you might just want to create mock data for some reason or another and, you know, experiment with them. And in that case, it's, it's really good to be aware of these kinds of features in Stata. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you, and I would like to invite you to visit 272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in Stata, SPSS, R, eViews and Minitab. Here at 272analytics.com we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students. Therefore we work very closely with you in order to perfect your chapter 3 and chapter 4. That means helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them. Uh, putting them through analysis, uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you so that at the end of the day you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter 4 uh, following a perfect chapter 3 and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence. We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance our consulting and transforming them into an appropriate academic project for yourself. I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.